Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you are, we are glad that you are with us today. This is the daily Bible study for the Sea Lang Church of Christ. If you have been to our building, you know where we are. If you have never been to our building because you are joining us from someplace else in the Philippines or someplace else in the world, we are located in Bayan or city proper of Silang, Cavite, Philippines, which is about 30 miles or 50 kilometers south of Minoy Aquino International Airport, located in Metro Manila. We hope that our study of God's word is of benefit to you today. As always, we'll start with prayer request. Cora? Marvin. Uh, who's doing it? Marvin. Joseph, Joseph, Marvin is still. Okay, That's Joseph. It. Cora. Okay, ready, Joseph. Uh, healing prayers for Claudio, Rosella, Kelly, and Teresa. Miss Giselle. Uh, yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Um, my prayer request is knowledge and wisdom and um, peace of mind, uh, protection for everybody, and more blessing to come. Okay. Miss Beth. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ma'am Cora. <clears throat> my prayer request is good health. More strength, knowledge, and wisdom for me and for my brother, and protection for my house and for everybody. Thank you, sir. Okay. Miss Vanessa, you got that, Joseph? Okay. Vanessa. Uh, sir, Thanksgiving and, of course, uh, constantly healing for my brother in law. And thank you for all. How's he doing things. today? Uh, he's still in the hospital, sir, as okay. of today. Tivanesa, uh, what was that? Your brother-in-law? Mm. Yes, Joseph. Jesse. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mom Cora. Uh, my prayer request is good health for my mother and knowledge and wisdom, understanding, and that's all. Thank you. Okay. Miss Mary, good morning. Good morning, Ma'am Cora. Good morning, sir. My prayer request, peace of mind and good sleep. Thank you, sir. Okay. Miss Wilma, how's your sister-in-law? Uh, sir, she's doing fine. Same with my aunt. Uh, so uh, thanksgiving for that. Praising for that. Okay. We're glad that everybody's doing better, Wilma. Yes, sir. Miss Larissa, good morning. Good morning, Mom Cora. Praising God for, <clears throat> for all the blessing that we have and protection for everybody. Okay. Marvin. Good morning, everyone. How's your teacher? Um, continuous prayer for her. Thank you. Uh, we broke up. Say it again, please. Uh, continuous prayer for my teacher, Abby. Um, she's doing good, sir, but the result is not yet determined. When are they expecting the results, Marvin? Uh, to check if it's if the source of his can of her breast cancer, if it's gene through her genes or external uh, factors, sir. Okay. Uh, we need to pray for Chris and LJ as uh, they are getting married Sunday, and. Uh, as you probably can imagine, there's some nerves involved. Pressure. You know, there's lots of pressure from external sources. 
we need we need to keep on them because uh, we want to support them. I'm sure for for their coming wedding. No, you can say wedding, or if you want to sound sophisticated, you can we use the word nuptials. Nuptials. Wedding's fine, sweetheart. Wedding is fine. She she doesn't want me to give you guys any more mahi rapping English. Nuptials. Um, nuptials. N u p t a l s. N u p i t a l s. A n u p. I T A L S. So Nupitals. It's, it's about stress that they are, are encountering during this time. And you can They're pray for our hard. you can pray for our church also. And may we continue to have growth. Okay, give us a prayer. Okay, let's bow our head. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking for your blessings and protection and help us as we are gathered together. We pray for your guidance in the matters at hand and ask that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work. Uh, we have Oh, we have special prayers, O oh Lord, uh, for Mom Cora. Uh, we ask for the healing for these this people, Claudio, Rosella, Kelly, and Kelly and 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 Teresa, and also for Sister Giselle. Knowledge. Uh, she asks also, O oh Lord, for knowledge and wisdom and peace of mind and protection. For Sister Beth, oh Lord, she would like to ask for the good health, um, knowledge and wisdom and protection for <clears throat> her family. And for Sister Vanessa, thanksgiving, oh Lord, for the blessings. And also, we would like to ask some prayers for her brother-in-law and for Brother Jesse. Uh, he would like to ask good health for <clears throat> his mother. And uh, knowledge and wisdom, O oh Lord. And for Sister Mary, uh, she she would like to ask some peace of mind and good rest for Sister Wilma. Continuous healing for her sister-in-law, O oh Lord, and for Sister Larissa. We would like to praise you for all the blessings that uh, they receive and also, O oh Lord, for the protection for her family. For... Uh, Brother Marvin, O oh Lord, continues healing for his teacher, Abby, and we uh, we would like to uh, <clears throat> ask for the good result of uh, her, um, her, her, her laboratory, O oh Lord, and we would like also to pray, O oh Lord, for uh, Sir Chris and to her wife, uh, to his wife, LG, um, may they conquer, O oh Lord, the challenges the, for the uh, upcoming Wedding and also, oh Lord, I would like to uh, thank you for uh, the blessings that you give to my family. Also, also for the good health, especially for my wife, oh Lord. Uh, she, uh, she made a, uh, she made a deal with, the, with the client, oh Lord, and also for the for the more clients to come to my wife. Uh, we would, we ask this in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, open your Bibles, please, to the book of 2 John. And you guys knowing me, if I were to crack a joke about it, open it to 2 John chapter 2. However, you know there is no chapter 2, right? Short sure, one. Or verse one, please. Second John, verse one. The elder, 
to the lady chosen by God and to her children, whom I love in the truth, and not only, but also all who knows the truth. Verse 2, please, Giselle. And verse 2, because of the truth that abide in us and will be with us forever. Okay. Verse 3, please, Beth. Uh, verse 3, grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God, the Father, and from Jesus Christ, the Father's Son, in truth and in love. Verse 4, please, Vanessa. And verse 4, I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. Verse 5, Joseph. In verse 5, and, and now I ask you, dear lady, not as though I were, I were writing you a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. Verse 6, please, Jesse. Verse 6, and this is love, that we walked according to his commandment. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, so that, so that you should walk in it. Verse 7, Mary. For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh, such a, such a one is the deceiver and the antichrist. Verse 8, please, Wilma. Verse 8, watch yourselves so that you may not lose what we have worked for, but may win a full reward. Verse 9, please, Larissa. In verse 9, everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. Verse 10, please, Marvin. Verse 10, if anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house or give him any greeting. Verse 11, Cora. 11, it says, anyone who welcomes them, them shares in their wicked work. 12, please, yourself. And 12, though I have much to write to you, I would rather not use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to come to you and talk face to face so that our joy may be complete. Okay, verse 13, Beth. Verse 13, the children of your elect sister greet, greet you. Okay. Uh, to whom is uh, this letter addressed? Vanessa? Ladies. Chosen ladies by God. The elders to the elect lady and her children, sir. Okay, now how does that compare with the introduction that we see in 3rd John? 3rd John? 3rd John. Joseph. Yes, sir. Introduction to 3rd John. How does that compare with what we see in the introduction to 2nd John? Uh, it compared to uh, the 3rd John series is... Uh, it's for to the beloved Gaius. Friend. It's friend. friend. It's friend. Okay. So what we can see here is that these two letters are addressed to people who obviously have a relationship with the apostle, right? Mm. Okay. Uh, how long will truth be with us, Jesse? It's in verse... Uh, forever, sir. The truth will, will be with us forever, right? Will abide yes. us forever. Yeah, if what? If we stay in the truth, right? 
Yes. We we we're gonna we're gonna later on in this book we're gonna talk about the Antichrist again. Um, what blessings did John seek for these people? Miss Mary? Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us and God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Father, Son, in the truth and love. So what blessings did he want for them? Grace, mercy, Grace, truth, mercy right? and peace. Grace, mercy, and peace. There you go. That's a blessing, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what must we do with the truth? Miss Wilma? Is it in verse four? It is. I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth. To walk in the truth. So what does that mean to walk in the truth? Uh, to do what is right. Okay. And believe. Okay. Miss Larissa, what does it mean to walk in the truth? Uh, to walk with the commandment of God. Okay. Marvin, what does it mean to walk in the truth? It means that we have to live with truth. Okay. Cora. We have to live and follow the commandments of God. Okay. Giselle. Uh, sir, as for me, sir, uh, we have to follow whatever in the scriptures. Okay. Say. Beth. Sir, we must do good to glorify God. Okay. Miss Vanessa. Uh, sir, as what I understand, sir, we must uh, not only hearers, but we have to do, we have to be a doers too. That's a scripture citation, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Joseph. Yes, sir. Um, we need to uh, take the right pathway in instead of in instead of doing bad things. We need to uh, go to the right way. Okay. Jesse. We need to obey God. We need to obey God. That's true. Miss Mary. We need to live a holy life. What does that mean, live a holy life? Uh, we need to... As much as possible, we need to um, do the Ten Commandments. Really? But it's hard, sir. Well, hold on. You said we have to obey the Ten Commandments, correct? Okay. Uh, Miss Wilma, must we obey the Ten Commandments? Sure, as long as we can. Although it's hard. Okay, Marvin, are we supposed to obey the Ten Commandments? Um, nine of them we should because it was written in the New Testament, but the Sabbath day, it is no longer part of, it, it was not mentioned here in the New Testament. Good. Oh, okay, but, that's a good uh, answer. We, uh, but we are no longer under the law, sir. But we still have to follow it, try our, do our best. No. Well, be careful what you say, okay? We are still under the law of Christ. We are no longer under the Levitical or Mosaic law. Right, sweetheart? Yes, and the Ten Commandments is under the Levitical law, so uh, we follow the New, the New Testament. Okay, now, since... 
you guys, th those of you who've been here for a while, is the Ten Commandments the entirety of the complete Levitical law? Mary? What, sir? Is, are the Ten Commandments the entirety or the complete Levitical law? I don't. You don't know. Miss Wilma, you know the answer to this. Uh, no, sir, because it is mentioned there that love God above all and love your brothers. And the other one is, I cannot remember. Okay. Cora, is the, are the Ten Commandments, what is, what is commonly called the Decalogue, is that the entirety of the Levitical law? Uh, I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Marvin. Come on, you guys uh, got to bail me out. I'm looking like a bad teacher. Aside from the Ten Commandments, there are other commandments under the Levitical law. Um, one that you mentioned, sir, according to the scripture, is that if your wife um, it, it has menstruation, sir, you, there you go. You have you the wife should uh, go outside the house <laughs> and Did, sleep there um, for three days. Where, so it doesn't yeah. cover the whole thing. Where can we find the entirety of the Levitical law? It's it is a Mosaic law. Mosaic law and Levitical law are the same, correct? Th those are the same thing. Where can we find the entirety of the Levitical or Mosaic law? Is it in Genesis? No. Why don't you open your Levitical, sir, in Leviticus, sir? The Thank you, Miss Vanessa. Thank you. Yes, you, you I'm looking like I, I, I've actually taught something. Uh, Miss Mary, open your Bible to the book of Leviticus, please. All of those are laws. Law book. That's a law book. It is. Yeah. Now, Miss Mary? I thought you were asking for that. Did you okay. find it? I can't hear you. What chapter, sir? I want you to just open it to anywhere in the middle of the book. Okay, sir. And start reading at random. Hello, for borns of fearing. There you go. What is, what is that? Where, where did you find that? Uh, chapter one, sir. That's not the middle of the book, is it? Seven. Okay, start reading. Uh, chapter Anywhere. seven, sir. Yes. This is the this is the law of guilt of offering. It must. It, so stop. This it, is the law of law. offering. Okay. So we are under. We are not under the Levitical law. Some people have the idea that the entirety of the Levitical law is contained within the Decalogue. It's not. And thank you, Miss Vanessa. You helped you helped me look like I'm a good teacher sometimes. Um, well, I didn't go understand. Go ahead, I sweetheart. Understand. I said the question is about the Ten Commandments. And you said, is the Ten Commandments under you, the Levitical law. No, that's not what I said. Sabiko, are the okay. Ten Commandments the entirety of the Levitical law? Um, and they no. are not the entirety of the Levitical law. Yeah, that's what I said. And it's no, because there's a lot more, as what Marvin said, there's a lot more law in the in the Levitical law. Right. By the way, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven women this, this, this morning, right? How would you feel if you told, if your husband told you, okay, it's your time of the month, you must go outside of the house for the next week? How's that going to work? Miss Vanessa?
Vanessa, you're muted. Yes, sir. Uh, where were where I gonna sleep, sir? If I'm going outside <laughs> to the doggy house <laughs> <laughs> in the shelter of the dogs. <laughs> Joseph, if you were to tell your wife it's your time of the month, you must go outside of the house. Uh, you think? Maybe the, go ahead. It will be opposite. <laughs> no, it's Me the law. Shall... It's the law of God. Uh, it's the law of God. Of course, my wife will be uh, upset. <laughs> why? why? Why would you gonna let me sleep outside? <laughs> why don't you try it? <laughs> well, you, you, want... should have, you should have answered. It's because it's in the Levitical law. You have to go sleep outside. Yeah. yeah Aren't you... here, here's the book. Here's the book. Sir, it says it. Sir, but it's not but it's not written there that uh uh you you must not go to your wife outside. It is. You can't touch her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. you will stay uh, on on the house. Yes. You, you, you will stay in the house and, or, and your wife will be outside. <laughs> stay for yes. two days? For a week. For a week? And she can even go even if uh, she uh, uh, she is thirsty? <laughs> oh. Aren't you glad? By the way, is there anybody glad that we are not under the Levitical law? Raise your hand, please. Yes, of course. <laughs> so yes, I'm sir, sorry, Miss Mary. I had to grab that. We are not under the Ten Commandments, okay? We are under the law of Christ. That does not mean that we are without law. It means we are without the law of Christ. Um, how is love described in verse 6? Miss Larissa? And this love that we walk accord according to his commandments, this is the commandment just as you have heard from the beginning so that you should walk in it. Uh, we should walk uh, with love. Okay. Um... Give me 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. Marvin? First John chapter 1, verse 7. It says here, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us from all sin. Okay, now draw a parallel, a comparison, if you will, between 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, and 2 John chapter 1, verse 6. Marvin? Is it me? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> sorry. so if we if we truly love God, we will keep his commandment and we will have fellowship with him. And we will have fellowship with each other. Jesse, you raise were you raising your hands? I remember, sir, that it is also written that if you love me, keep my commandment. If you love me, keep my commandments. That is correct. It, that is in scripture. Um, 
what is the danger that we might see in verse seven, Cora? As John, first John two eighty. Hang on. First. first. What's the second? Okay. Uh, my referral to this one is the first John chapter two, verse eighteen to twenty-two. But uh, on this, uh, on your question, the deceiver. What is? Say it okay. again. Okay, go ahead. What is the danger that we see in Second John chapter one, verse seven? The dangers are because because of a lot of people or deceivers that are not acknowledging God. Um, there are you know there are some person who are or most persons are acting as the Antichrist. As the first John chapter two verse eighteen it says. As you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many children, many Antichrists have come. So it's the the danger is a lot of the deceivers or a lot of Antichrists are around us. Okay. What's the danger you see in verse eight, Giselle? Uh, sir, you have to watch yourself so that you may not lose what we have worked for but may win with a full reward sir. okay so what about the calvinistic teaching that you cannot lose your salvation no sir you know I the cannot, people so I, cannot, I cannot lose my salvation because we are i i am in with christ as long as you don't want to lose it, right? Nobody yes. else can take it away from you. Yes. But can you leave? Can you go do something else? Yeah. Can you okay. live another way? Sure. Sure, sir. Okay. That absolutely. And in fact, that's what the warning is in verse number eight, is that we should be careful that we do not walk away. Okay. Um. Why is it necessary that we live in the doctrine of Christ? That'll come from verse nine. Miss Beth. Sir. Sir, everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have does not have God. Whoever whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. Okay, so Tell me, please, what is he? I, that's, the, that's the correct verse. However, the question is, why is it necessary that we stay in the doctrine of Christ? Okay, sir. Sir, we must stay in the doctrine of Christ so that we may, we may live in the teaching of Christ. Uh, phone a friend, Beth. Phone Vanessa. Okay, sir. I call. I call a friend, Vanessa. Miss Vanessa. It's busy, sir. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> yes, sir. Everyone who goes on ahead does not abide teaching. It means, sir, we have we have. Uh, God is not with us, if, uh, sir. Right. So if we leave the doctrines of Christ, we no longer have Christ, right? And not only do we not have Christ, we don't have we don't have the Father either. Um, I think that the the best answer to that is we have to continue continue learning about the the teachings of christ we don't stop because 
it's not like uh, you do it this year and then next year you stop doing it. Okay, now we want to be careful how we handle God's word, right? Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we handle it correctly. So we're going to jump around a little bit here. When we see these passages, we will see doctrine of, and by the way, Greek 101. What is the Greek word for doctrine, Marvin? Didaskalia. Meaning what? Teaching or doctrine. Teaching or doctrine, correct. Uh, so in Matthew chapter 16, verse 12, Matthew chapter 16, verse 12, does the word doctrine of refer here to something taught by this person or about this person? Then they understood 16, 12. Yes. That he was not telling them to guard against the disorder, but that was the teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Teaching of Pharisees and Sadducees. Okay, so was this something taught about the Sadducees and the Pharisees, or is this something taught by the Sadducees and the Pharisees? It's against the teachings of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Right. Is it taught by them or taught about them? Taught by them. By them. By them. Very good. Colossians chapter 2, verse 22. Colossians chapter 2, verse 22. 222. Jesse? These rules which have written. Colossians. Destined to perish are based on merely human command and teachings. Colossians, what, sir? Chapter 2, verse 20. 2.22. Two twenty-two. Refers referring to these things that all all perish as they are used according to the human precepts and teaching. Okay, so is this something taught about humans or by humans? By humans. By humans. Okay. First Timothy chapter four, verse one, Miss Mary. I know I'm out of time, but we're going to finish this little exercise here. First Timothy 4 1. Now the Spirit expressly say that. In later times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to the seedful spirit and teaching of demons. Teaching of demons, okay. So is this something taught about demons or by demons? Demons, sir. Teaching taught, of demons. Taught by demons, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Revelations chapter 2, verse 14 and 15, Miss Wilma. Revelation chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. But I have a few things against you. You have some there who hold the teaching of Balaam, who thought Balak to put a stumbling block before the son of Israel so that they might eat food sacrificed to idols and practice sexual immorality. So also you have some who hold the teaching of Nicolaitans. 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 Okay. So the question is, is this something taught by Balaam or is, and the Nicolaitans, or is this something taught about them? Uh, teaching, of, teaching by Balaam. Right. 
So we want to be really careful, make sure the teacher that we're following, in fact, I have a Bible study later tonight where I have to talk to somebody about things taught by people. Uh, It's not taught about them. It's taught by them, right? Okay. With that, we will end our Bible study for